Hey guys, Tim Pokemon here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and its leaks. Because these games are leaking fast and they are leaking everything. Paradox forms, I'm talking full starter evos, I'm talking abilities, typings, everything. So we're gonna talk about it, but we're not gonna show any images because I'm not trying to get copyright striked. And just really quickly wanted to punch in and say I'm doing this for news purposes. This is not my content. I did not make this. I did not find this myself. Uh, this was all by Central Leaks. Central Leaks. Um, but yeah, uh, just wanted to say that real quick. YouTube, please don't copyright strike me. Yeah, and I'll let you guys get right back to the video. Uh, so you won't see anything. Um, I will put typings for Paradox Forms. So I'm going to give you guys, a, you know, like 10 seconds just in case you want to click off or skip forward in the video. But I'm going to put up the uh, typings for all the Paradox Forms in a second. Uh, quick keyword is going to be typing because, yeah, that's what we're about to talk about. And uh, let me know in the comments down below which Paradox Forms you want to see the most. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's show the typings. Now, we got Great Tusk and Iron Treads, which are the two Dawn fan variants. Uh, Great Tusk being the Scarlet one and the Violet one being Iron Treads. Now, it's Ground Fighting for the Scarlet one and Ground Steel for the Violet one. Makes sense to me, honestly. Then we got Brute Bonnet, which is actually the uh, Among Us. Um, Among Us. Uh, Regional variant is grass dark, which is pretty interesting. Then we got uh, What is iron hands iron hands here is listed as the Hariyama One so we got fighting electric for that one then we got sandy shocks, which is the I don't even know which one that is um, I cannot tell a hundred percent what Pokemon that is electric ground interesting um, Yeah, and then we got uh, right up there, we got Iron Thorns. Oh, sorry. Yes, Iron Thorns, Rock Electric. That's the Tyranitar. Yes, we're getting a Mech Tyranitar. I'm not going to obviously show a picture because I'm not trying to get copyright striked or anything. Um, but yeah, Mech, uh, Mech Tyranitar coming to the game. Not Rock Steel, but it's Rock Electric. And it can't get away from four times weaknesses. Quick keyword Tyranitar because it's going to have a four times weakness to ground now, uh, which is a bit unfortunate for it. But yeah, down here I have Iron Thorns for that. Then we got Screamtail, Fairy Psychic. That is the uh, Paradox uh, Jigglypuff, and it looks interesting. It's got like a thing coming out of its head. It looks pretty interesting. Honestly, probably one of the worst ones. Yeah. And and by the way, the uh, the Amoongus that we did see was real, real, hundred percent real in the files. It's literally the Amoongus that like leaked like a while ago, like a long, long time ago. If you've been uh, following Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks, you definitely have seen it. And uh, yeah, the one with like the it's like just the Amoongus with like the green drip, uh, green uh, vines kind of things hanging down. That's what it is. Uh, but yeah, the the Jigglypuff, the face was right. It just has like a thing coming out uh, of the back. The Tyranitar looks like a mech, <laughs> literally like a mech Tyranitar. Uh, the the uh, Hariyama is like yellow much much like a lighter yellow and like a blue it kind of looks like similar to normal hayama just maybe like like with a little bit of padding to be honest uh and then uh what other ones have we talked about just so i could uh, uh, you know quickly explain what they look like but i so far i have and then we iron jugulus quick keyword is hydragon because apparently this is the paradox hydragon and honestly it doesn't look that different but it's a dark flying type um, not too different. I mean, it, it really doesn't even look that different on the thing. I'm not going to lie to you guys, unfortunately. But then we got Fluttermane, which is Ghost Fairy. And that is your Paradox Misdreavious. Yes, Paradox Misdreavious is confirmed. And it's a Ghost Fairy type. I kind of like that typing. Uh, to be honest, it just looks like Misdreavious with a little bit of a longer, like, mane to it. And uh, real quick, I'm actually going to say this real quick. Um, the two... Uh, the reg these regionals, uh, these paradox forms actually have the same ability based on the game, uh, which is pretty interesting. Protosynthesis is listed as the ability for all of the Scarlet Pokemon, and then Quark Drive is listed as the uh, ability for all the um, uh, Violet ones. Sorry, and then we go on to Iron Bundle, which is our Deli Bird paradox form, and yes, it's Ice Water type, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, Iron Bundle. Interesting. Uh, then we got uh, Slitherwing, which is bug fighting. And this is our uh, Slitherwing. Here is the Paradox uh, Scarlet version. Sorry, Paradox Scarlet version of Volcarona. 
and Iron Moth is its other one. It's a fire poison type, uh, which is pretty interesting. And it kind of looks like a sun. And um, I forgot to describe. So Deli Bird just gets like kind of like like a thing on its back, like kind of thing, almost like a um, a Santa sack. And then we get um, uh, the Iron Moth version of Volcarona. Looks like a little like sun. And then the Slitherwing kind of looks more like a. I don't even know what I don't even know how to describe that one. I'm sorry. Um, then we got uh, Roaring Moon, which I believe is the Salamence, the regional Salamence, Dragon Dark, um, and it looks crazy. It looks so different. Like, when you look at this thing, you're not going to think Salamence right away. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I feel like it's going to get a love-hate. Um, I'm not too against it. It might not be the best one here, but it, it, it's all right. Um, then we got uh, Iron Valiant, Fairy Fighting, and that is our regional uh regional paradox uh galade i believe so fairy fighting pretty cool um yeah overall a lot of really really cool things here i think that it's honestly like really cool and apparently all their stats are very high um with all of them being 570 minimum which is pretty cool um two of them are actually 590 the two being uh roaring moon and iron valiant valiant uh so that's the Salamence and Gallade, which is interesting. So we'll take this off the screen real quick and let me know in the comments down below which one you guys are most excited about. Uh, but we're also going to talk about the starter typings. I mean, I feel like we got these starter typings, um, you know, confirmed a bit. And if you're wondering what I'm looking at, I'm looking at my phone so that I can just tell you guys what's what's happening. There's also new abilities we're going to talk about. But the starter typings are, for Sprigatito, it evolves into Meow Scarada. That's the name, and it's a grass dark type. Then we got Fue Coco, which evolves into, I'm not even gonna try to name that. It's a fire ghost type, and then the water starter is water fighting, which is pretty awesome. But apparently, apparently the grass starter's typing is Protean, which is pretty awesome. I feel like that's pretty cool, and especially in a game where we get uh, you know, the terrestrialization, um, I feel like you know being able to switch types is cool, and, and you don't you don't even have to use terrestrialization, you know, like you could save that for another Pokemon uh, Then the that's the hidden ability by the way for the grass starter um, And then you got uh, what is unaware? Uh, for for Fue Coco's line and then Moxie for the uh, Quaxley line. So pretty awesome Honestly, uh, pretty cool and the stats are pretty interesting uh, with the highest stat for Sprigatito uh, final evil evolution being 123 speed so it's a fast one. Uh, yeah, honestly, pretty fast, pretty well-rounded as starters usually are. Um, the the Quaxley line uh, gets water fighting and has 120 physical attack. And then the Fue Coco line is uh, 140, 104, sorry, HP, 100 defense, and 110 uh, special attack. Pretty well-rounded, but the slowest of the three at 66 speed. But uh, yeah, honestly, pretty cool. Uh, I cannot wait for these games, honestly. These quick keyword Scarlet, because these games are going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, I'm personally going with Violet, but I'm not going to lie. The Paradox forms for Scarlet kind of look better right now. Um, if I had to say so myself, let me uh, let me go into that and uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to say the Scarlet Paradox forms are better. So if you win with Scarlet and you're excited for Paradox forms, well, you're going to get some good ones. A uh, quick keyword is going to be abilities because we're going to talk about abilities real quick. Uh, Purifying Salt is apparently a new ability. The Pokemon's Pure Salt protects it from status conditions and has the damage taken from ghost type moves. So this is interesting. Uh, this maybe is uh, the new ability for the brand new uh, Salt Rock Pokemon. Um, the, the base form did leak. And oh, real quick, I got to say this right off the bat. Whoopers. Regional evolution is a thousand out of ten. If it's not on your team, do not talk to me. It is so good. Quick keyword, Wooper. It is easily one of my favorite Pokemon that got revealed today. And said Titan's pre-evolution, pre Chef's Kiss. It looks so good. One of the best baby Pokemon I've seen in a while. Um, it looks really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, going to get a plushie of that when that comes out eventually. Uh, then we got the ability Toxic Debris. Uh, scatters poke poison spikes. Sorry, at the feet of uh, the opposing team when the Pokemon takes damage from physical moves. Interesting. That's actually pretty interesting there. Ooh, 
That's a very interesting ability. I wonder, so basically if you hit it, it's gonna drop toxic spikes. So you can't hit that thing with the physical move. I mean, I could see easily people switching into this thing to get that uh, toxic, toxic debris down because it's basically like using toxic spikes as a move. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then Mycelium Might. The Pokemon will always act more slowly when using status moves, but these moves will be unimpeded by the ability of the target. Okay, interesting. Um, then we got Opportunist. If an opponent's stat is boosted, the Pokemon seizes the opportunity to boost the same stat for itself. That's a good ability. Uh, quick keyword is going to be boost because it's boosting its own um, stuff. Uh, but then we got wind power. The Pokemon becomes charged when it is hit by a wind move, boosting the power of the next electric type move the Pokemon uses. Interesting. So an electric type is going to be getting this move uh, ability potentially. And then we got thermal exchange. Boosts the attack stat when this Pokemon is hit by a fire type move. This Pokemon also cannot be burned. Now that's pretty cool. Cannot be burned. Also, bur boosting the 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 attack for by getting hit by a fire type move. Interesting to see what, which Pokemon gets that. That could be pretty useful for a Pokemon that's uh, a either resisted fire type moves because then you could switch it in. But probably something that's going to be pretty weak to fire type moves or neutral. Uh, but pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Uh, I cannot wait for these games. Quick keyword: Violet. Because uh, I'm going Violet, but honestly, these games are insane. I cannot wait, and uh, yeah, honestly, like there's just so much stuff going on. Uh, we're gonna be streaming these games. Quick keyword is gonna be Snorlax real quick because we got our boy here. But yeah, we got Paradox Forms. We just got so much stuff coming. Uh, so hopefully you did enjoy this video, and uh, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with everything Scarlet and Violet. We're gonna be playing the games. We're gonna be live streaming a lot of the games. So what uh, the plan is right now that we're gonna live stream from midnight to 2 a.m. on the day of release. Then we're gonna stream that same day, like later in the day. We're gonna go to sleep, come back, uh, stream from about like 5 p.m. to about midnight, like another long stream. So we're gonna be playing a lot on the first day. So hopefully you guys uh, come and join. Uh, we can play together. Um, and uh, let me look. And that's all Eastern time, by the way. But uh, let me know in the comments down below. Which uh, game are you getting? Are you getting these games? Are you excited? And a uh, quick keyword is going to be stream because we're going to stream. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.